it'll come as no surprise, I'm sure, when I tell you that we've seen a massive increase in the amount of hybrid and electric vehicles on the road today. And in fact, I'm even driving one myself. Now, of course, these cars get damaged and need to be repaired. And when it comes to repair, what are the process changes that we need to think about equally? What do we need to do in terms of safety to make sure that the technicians working on the car remain safe throughout the repair process? And when it comes to refinishing, what is the impact on that process, particularly with regard to the temperatures that we can expose the batteries to? And what about the different products that might be out there that will help us refinish these vehicles successfully? So today I've come to one of our leading customers in the northwest of England, Fall Coast Accident Repair Centre in Blackpool, to see how they manage this process on a day-to-day -day basis. But before I go in and meet the body shop manager, Dane, I'm just going to put a little bit of electricity in my car. Hey, Tony, good to see you again. Hi, Welcome Dane, back. you too. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good. Hey, listen, thanks for the invitation today and uh, your time. I'm really looking forward to learn from you and your experience on how to handle these EV repairs on a day-to-day -day basis. So tell me, where does the process begin? The process all begins, Tony, when we actually recover the vehicle from the customer's home or the vehicle location. And we actually send out our electric vehicle and hybrid trained qualified driver that will go out and assess the damage then before prior to moving it onto the back of the trucks. Okay, so I'm assuming that in some cases it's not always one of your drivers who's had that training that will go to uh, collect the vehicle. What about third party or agency guys? Absolutely. Actually what we do see is majority of the electric vehicles that come onto our site are collected by the agency drivers. But what we've got to think a little bit differently is when these cars get collected prior to them being recovered in, we need to make sure there's no compromise to the high voltage system. So even though the accident damage might not be in the area as such, we'll still check the underneath of the vehicle because of the lifting or jacking points and people have brought these cars onto the back of the trucks. Any reason there's any damage to the high voltage systems, it would be isolated prior to us moving it. Okay, because obviously that car would still be live and that's then a big safety risk. That's what we're saying, yeah? Absolutely, yeah. Okay, and having done those checks, if everything's okay, where does the process go then? Well, the process will be right through here, Tony, with our customer service team. We'll check the cars in as normal. Let's come through. Great, thank you. So, Dane, when it comes to estimating damage on electric vehicles, what are the key things that you're looking for? Well, firstly, Tony, it's really important that the estimate that's assessing the damage is someone that's vehicle manufacturer trained or accredited with EV and hybrid vehicles. Okay, so that's now a couple of times that you've mentioned training and we've not even got into the, the working area yet. Who's providing all of this training for you? Vehicle manufacturers are providing the training online or at their centres or even our local colleges. Okay, great. Let's go through to the workshop. So, Tony, I'd like to go and show you one of our cars we've got ready to shut down in our EV bay. Okay, that's great. Now, this is something completely new to me. I've never seen it before in a body shop. So, do you mind talking us through what's happening? Absolutely. Let's take a closer look. So, Dane, I can see that you've already got some of our dedicated EV tools and equipment here. Do you want to tell me a little bit more about what's happening now? Yeah, so the vehicle we've got now behind us is in an EV allocated bay, cornered off, ready for our EV trained and certified technician to come down following the shutdown procedures, making sure the vehicle is isolated safely using some of the equipment we've got here today. Okay, and your technician, presumably he will follow specific guidelines from a manufacturer, is that right? Absolutely. So here today, we actually have the vehicle manufacturer methods on the technician's okay. tablets. Great. And on here, you can see the full process from start to finish. Brilliant. Okay, so it's like an A to Z Bible of shutting a vehicle down. Absolutely. And it easily includes what tools you need to be using to shut the vehicle down with, which are included today. Okay, great. One thing I've got to ask you, What's this very interesting looking piece of equipment here? Well, fortunately, Tony, we've never used that. But worst case scenario, the guy got electrocuted. It's there to grab him off. But hopefully we never need to use that. Yeah, let's hope we don't use it today. Absolutely. So, Dane, the car is all safely powered down. I guess it's MET next. But if we were going to move the car, how do we do so without any power in it? Well, before we even move the car, Tony, the MET technician will actually strip the components down here that's necessary okay. before it moves into the next staging panel. But then to move the car, we'd actually use skates to move the car around from stage to stage. OK, and once we get into the panel area, presumably there's no power in the car, it becomes like a normal vehicle. But is there anything else that we need to be aware of? Well, as long as there are no high voltage components or cables or even the battery in the area that we're repairing, and then the panel stage will be the same as normal. OK, fabulous. And I guess after that, then, we move off to the paint Absolutely, area. Absolutely, just this way. So, Dane, in every discipline or department in the body shop that we've been through so far, you've mentioned training and awareness. Does that extend to your painters as well? Absolutely. All of our painters are trained with EV awareness. 
when they get the vehicles and they're starting to commence work, they've got the vehicle manufacturing methods again ready before they commence so they can see the bake and temperature times of the booth and that will determine what products they're going to be using on them vehicles. You mentioned already about adhering to manufacturers maximum drying times and temperatures. Now on our poster here we mentioned 60 degrees C for a maximum of 45 minutes. As a general rule is that about right? Absolutely Tony. I mean our paint technicians following the vehicle manufacture methods the guidance what you guys are putting there is there there about accurate. Okay that's great. Now what may interest you to know is that we have our low energy fast cure products which will dry at either 40 degrees or 20 degrees C depending on how you want to process cars through the shop which may be of use to you in future should times or, or, or drying temperatures need to come lower and it also might save you a little bit of money on your energy costs as well. And it'd be great to see them products absolutely. Okay great that's something we can look at for you but now I guess it's time we moved on to MET to finalise the repair. Let's go. So now we're back to the rebuild process. The technician will get so far until he needs to energise and power up the vehicle again following the vehicle manufacture methods. But fundamentally, Tony, what is more important to us is that we need to take the stress and worry away from our customer, knowing it's had a safe repair back to pre-accident condition. Well, Dan, I've got to say that's a great explanation on how you handle the process of EVs. Thanks for your time. Great to have you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. So that's the view of Dane Highland here at Fall Coast Accident Repairs on how they handle the process of repairing EVs. Now it may be that you're already well experienced in the repair of these vehicles or alternatively you are just starting out on the journey. Whichever it is, rest assured that at Exalta we can provide you with the help and the equipment that you need, both paint and non-paint, to help you successfully repair these cars. Time I went and unplugged my vehicle and got myself down the road. Thanks and see you soon.